flows. Love, the mystery of existence. Love is the mystery of existence that no one has understood. The way to understand love, you need entirely new path. The moment you learn the art of living this mystery, you will not remain the same. You will not remain the same. A woman is to be loved, not understood. That is the first understanding. Life is so mysterious that our hands cannot reach to its heights. Our eyes cannot look into its deepest mystery. You have to live this mystery. Man is egoistic. That is why I call him male chauvinistic. Man has created this society and in this society there is no place for woman and she has tremendous qualities of her own. For example, if a man has the possibility of intelligence, the woman has the possibility of love. It does not mean she cannot have intelligence. Certainly she can have intelligence. She just has to be given the chance to develop it. But love she is born with. Love is her inherent quality. She has more compassion, more kindness and more understanding. I have told you that a woman is to be loved, not understood. That is the first understanding. Life is so mysterious that our hands cannot reach to its height. Our eyes cannot look into its deepest mystery. Understanding any expression of existence, man or woman, trees or animals or birds, is the function of science, not of a mystic. I am not a scientist. To me, science itself is a mystery. And now scientists have started to recognize this. They are dropping their old, stubborn, superstitious attitude that one day they will know all that is to be known. With Albert Einstein, the whole history of science had taken a very different route because the more he went into the deepest core of matter, the more he became puzzled. All logic was left behind. All rationality too was left behind. You cannot dictate to existence because it does not follow your logic. Existence does not follow your logic. Logic is man-made. There, there was a point in Albert Einstein's life when he remembers that he was wavering about whether to insist on being rational, but that would be foolish. It would be human, but not intelligent. Even if you insist on logic, on rationality, existence is not going to change itself according to your logic. This is the basic understanding. Always remember this. Your logic has to change according to existence, law of existence. And the deeper you go, existence becomes more and more mysterious. And then point comes when you have to leave logic and rationality and just listen to your nature. Your consciousness is your nature and that you have to learn to listen. I call it the ultimate understanding but not in the ordinary sense of understanding. You know it, you feel it, but there is no way to see it. It is the fragrance of meditation, inner flowering. 
This is not ordinary sense of understanding and I am not interested in the ordinary sense of understanding. You know it, you feel it, but there is no way to see it. You can realize this. This is the fragrance of meditation and inner loving. Man is a mystery. Woman too is a mystery. Indeed, everything that exists is mystery. And all our efforts to figure it out are going to fail. Man and woman, man and woman are two strings of one half, but both are in continuous suffering separate from one another. And because they are suffering and do not know the reason for it, so they start taking revenge on one another. The woman can be of immense help in creating an organic society. She is different from man, but not unequal. She is as equal to man as any other man. She has talents of her own which are absolutely needed for a harmonious life. It is not enough to earn money. It is not enough to become a success in the world. Certainly more necessary is a beautiful home and woman has the capacity to change any house into a beautiful home. She can fill it with love. She has that sensitivity. She can rejuvenate man and help him relax and evolve. In the Upanishads, there is a very strange blessing for newly wed couples. A new couple comes to the seer of the Upanishads and he gives his blessings. He says to the girl specifically, I hope you become the mother of ten children and finally your husband be your eleventh child. Your husband be the eleventh child and unless you become a mother to your husband, you have not succeeded in being a true wife. It is very strange but has immense psychological insight in it because this is what the modern psychology finds that every man is looking for his mother in the woman and every woman is looking for her father in man. So Besides being husband and wives, you should look into the image of your father and your mother in your spouse. That is why every marriage is a failure. You cannot find your mother. The woman you have loved has not come to be your mother. She wants to be your wife, a lover, and the Upanishadic blessing, almost five to six thousand years old, gives an insight to modern psychology. A woman, whatsoever she is, is basically a mother. A father is an invented institution. It is not natural. So make it a point, besides being the lover, besides being beloved, treat your husband as your child. The childlike affection at times has to be there. So too a husband has to express the fatherly affection on the child but the mother will 
remain indispensable. They have tried experiments. They have given children all the facilities, medication, all the food, every perfection from different branches of science. But strangely, the children go on shrinking and will die within three months. Then they discovered that mother's body and her warmth is an absolute necessity for life to grow. Keep this at the back of your mind in dealing with your spouse. The warmth in this vast cold universe is absolutely necessary in the beginning. Otherwise the child will feel abundant. He will shrink and die. There is no need for man to feel inferior to woman. The whole idea arises because you take man and woman as two separate species. They belong to one humanity and they both have complementary qualities. They both need each other in every aspect of life. And the only when they are together in every dimension of life, fulfilling every emotional need, they are together and they are whole. This is the secret of male-female relation. Enough for now.